Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourselves, all those kind of things. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Great to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I edit my photos using various software products. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I'm just going to jump into it. Here's my photo. And what this video is about is I find myself often doing these videos where I'm doing 12 or 15 minutes and I'm doing uh, lots of different filters and tools and things like that to get to my final look. And what I want to point out is that you don't have to do that, to be honest. You can make a quick and powerful transformation of a photo in really just a few easy steps. So I want to give you an example of that in this photo. I'm going to start here with Composition AI, and I'm going to go straight to 16 by 9. If you've been here before, you know I love that. I'm going to go ahead and call that um, a composition that I like. I love that aspect ratio. Something about it just gets me. Um, the first thing when I see this photo that I look at is the sky because it's pretty white and pretty blown out. So of course, I'm gonna go, go ahead and get on the creative tab and do the sky AI and pick a new sky and do a replacement. And I'm gonna get dramatic sunset two. And as you can see, it drops in and I love actually where it sits in the photo. I am gonna do some more relight because I wanna bring a little bit more of that kind of tonal look to the photo. So I'm gonna do something about like that but I'm not finished. So usually what I do if I'm putting a new sky in is I put in the sky and then I go back over here to the Essentials tab and I start working from there down. Now I'm gonna do a few things here and to be honest, I don't have notes for this. I went through this once before a while back and I was like, yeah, I like that. I knew that was the sky I wanted. The rest of this I'm just kind of doing by feel. So I'm not looking at notes or anything like that like I often do. I'm just kind of gonna go through and do the things that I feel like I think need to be done to the photo. So. I've kind of done a few things in light. I'm now in Accent AI here in the Enhance AI tool, and I love that. It just does such a great job of helping me to kind of brighten the areas that are too dark without really brightening the stuff that's already bright enough. Um, Structure AI is a fantastic tool as well. It gives you some nice pop. It gives kind of like a local contrast, kind of like clarity where um, it, it just pops the edges, um, and so really things just kind of look crisp. So if you look at the before and then you look at the after, it just looks to me a lot crisper and I love that. I don't really think I need any color. I think I am gonna go back to creative and I'm gonna get atmosphere AI and I'm gonna use mist in this case and I'm gonna go kind of low, but um, I wanna add a little bit. If you look at that, the mist, um, if I go all the way to 100, you can kind of see what it's doing. It's really hitting heavy in the bright parts of the photo, which I like. It's creating a little bit of a look of a haze almost in that sky. So at zero, it's a little too orange. That sky is not really believable. And while I could go in and adjust the oranges, if I'm sticking mist on it, it's kind of subduing that color cast a little bit, which I like. And so um, it's also creating a little bit of that haze, which to me makes sense visually. It's gonna be further away. There's clouds in the sky, which looks kind of hazy anyway. And adding that really kind of enhances that look. So I've used sky replacement and atmosphere AI, and then I used light and then I used Enhance AI, and I used Structure AI. And to be honest, I'm, I'm about done. I mean, being who I am and just how I like to edit photos, I could sit here and edit and edit and edit and do things and do things and keep doing things simply because I like it. But the truth is, you don't really have to do that. The only thing I might would do is like stick a little bit of a vignette on here, and I'm gonna get into the advanced settings, and I'm gonna go less round. I like to do a little bit more, I guess it's more of a rectangle shape. Uh, I like to increase the feathering and then I might bring in a little bit of inner light just to pop that center. I don't wanna do too much. Um, and you know, vignettes are optional. Some people love vignettes. I, I like them a lot. I don't know about love. Some people hate them. Obviously it's personal choice. And in fact, these are editing videos to give you ideas on what to do with your own photos and anything you do with your own photo is your choice, my friend. It's your art, it's your photo, do whatever you want. Um, but that's it. That's a quick edit. And truthfully, I mean, if you look at the before, there it is, other than the crop. I started with Composition AI, as you know. But other than the crop, um, that was a quick, simple edit of just a few tools. And if I do the sliding, you can see, I mean, significantly changed the look and feel of the photo. And, and I'm sure there are some of you that are going to maybe find something that I'm not looking at in this quick edit and say, hey, it doesn't look right. And that's totally fair. In fact, I appreciate that because you guys will often open my eyes to something that I'm blind to, because when you're editing and you're getting into it, sometimes you just miss things. So I actually, I, I like that kind of criticism, to be honest. Um, so criticize away, uh, but um, 
the uh, I, I like the photo. I, I mean, I think it looks good. I think it's a quick and easy and yet powerful transformation. And that's one of the things I love about Luminar. It's just not hard or complicated or time consuming to do the kind of things you may want to do to a photo. So one more time, there's before, there's my after, and that's a quick demo. I'm going to try to do a few more of these and sprinkle these in. I try to do tool specific demos. I try to do workflow, which tend to be longer. And then I want to try to do some shorter workflow videos like this one as well. Hope that it helps my friends. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well and staying safe out there. And I'll be back really soon with more videos. Thanks again. Take care and adios.